That is amazing! Another penny. Full silver pocket watch. One of the best finds out here for sure. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today we're gonna be looking for lost items here at an old gold rush site that used to be the home for the miners in the 1860s here on the island. Now, I don't know a lot about relic hunting, but the goal is to find some old coins, old tools, and hopefully, maybe, some old gold. Let's go. So we do have a few metal detectors to choose from. We have two mine labs, a whole bunch of pinpointers, we have a Fisher and even a Garrett AT Max. I have almost no experience with the Garrett. What I've been reading, this thing actually has a display to tell you what it could be, opposed to just telling you that it's metal. Definitely from the Gold Rush era. Yeah, this is an old Gold Rush snowboard. Definitely an older can. There'll be lots of pop cans, bullets. This was absolutely all cabin day. Oh, you see the the rust in the dirt? It's my first find of the day, and it's just a modern nail. <laughs> da, 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 da. A piece of glass. I have no idea what I'm doing. I still don't know how to use this machine. Is there somewhere? The shell casing from an old bullet. I don't know what kind of round that would be from. If any of you know where that came from, let me know. Again, I don't know relics at all. It's so exciting when you got the target. Oh yeah. 22 caliber rim fire. I'm winning. Still another target in there. Probably another shell casing. Oh look, a nail. right on top of whatever it is. Is this it? That's oh, a hot rock. A hot rock of some sort. I've never seen a hot rock set those pinpointers off. Hey? I have another one down there. I found already found a nail. You know, this is right where we found that pocket watch, man. 1863, it said, and it was completely squashed, but you could separate all of the rings, and it was a full silver pocket watch, the type you'd, you know, you'd have in your pocket and you'd pull out to look at. And it said 1863 on it. You could see the numbers and the hands that went around, all the gears inside it. That's awesome. One of the best finds out here for sure. I watched this young guy on YouTube that showed me how if you get a target in your plastic scoop, you, you sift it as you run it by the metal detector. I think his name is Paul or something. More nails. Very typical. This whole area was cabins and there's no remnants of them now, so there's expected to be a lot of that stuff. There's something in here that I cannot see. It's actually a little handmade square nail. I found a few of these. They come out in our sluice box often, but I think they're almost for like a shoe, like from a cobbler or something. Cause huh. there's nothing they're nailing together that's that little mini nail like that. And no one would hand make a nail now. No, <laughs> I mean, last time we tried that, it took us months. It looks like an old hinge, maybe from a door of an old ancient Lamborghini or something cool. Hold on to it for now. I'm not gonna believe this. I found a cache of nails. Unreal. That is amazing. And they're not even square nails too. That's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that whole page. It's a penny. I can't see the date on it, but it's certainly not from this year. I'm gonna say it's from the 1200s. Not too old, but it's definitely something. Something. I 
find this more difficult than looking for gold. I think mainly because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> looking for something. Oh, getting closer. So it's in my hand, whatever it is. Oh. What a surprise. Another pull tab. So cool. A lot of drinking happened in this territory. So I'm still trying to figure out how to use this. What I should have done is gone on YouTube and look it up. I'm finding that the good targets are obviously in the white here. The higher the number, the more chance it's gonna be either silver or gonna be coins or something like that. So that's all I'm really going by. Come on, be another nail. Yeah, it's another nail. Yeah, I'm so excited about nails, woo! How cool would it be to pull out like a two ounce nugget? Even an old toy. Something worth something. But I'm happy to be out here regardless. It beats sitting at home. Found a metal worm. Come on, poker, do your magic. Can't believe I didn't see that. Another pull tab. So other than a bunch of nails and some pieces of stuff, I found a penny, a 22 casing, and some pull tabs. Now, I've been trying not to do relic metal detecting because I know that if I do find something good, I'm gonna be hooked on that. And I'm already hooked on gold prospecting. And it's so time consuming, but that's a good problem to have. <laughs> Okay. Right there. Probably garbage. <laughs> garbage. Got sliver. <laughs> Where are you? So I had one of my highest signals being in the high 80s and on the scale here it says silver, gold or bronze. So it literally could be any one of those three things. In the high 70s I found a coin but this is the high 80s so I'm assuming it's going to be a coin or maybe even just lead but I've been trying to follow it for the last five minutes and I can't seem to find it. But we're going to find it. It's somewhere right in that hole. But I want to be careful just in case it is a coin. I'm going to scratch it. I've definitely scratched gold nuggets before and I don't want, that's not what I want to do. Root. There's a nail. That's hopefully not what I was finding. Yeah, see there's multiple targets in here. Yeah, right there. The high 80s, that's what I'm after. It's kind of interesting, like you find a target and you move away from that target by like half a foot and then you find a nail. Oh, right there. Looks like another penny. This one is from 19... 19 something. 1933, nope. 1988. Dang it. I wasn't wrong, it was definitely another coin. A penny, but that's okay. That's still not too bad. Another high 80s. Probably another penny. Come on, Penny, can we find three cents? Oh, oh look at that. Oh, something hard. What's this thing? What is that? It almost resembles a gold nugget, but it's not gold. I think this is some kind of melted metal from a campfire. Strange find of the day so far. Another high 80.
Another one. Another one. There is definitely a campfire around here because I'm finding a lot of melted metal. I still don't know what this is, but it's melted and it's metal. So far, we've been finding nothing but garbage. I know there's excellent stuff here. We found old relics before. I'm positive we gotta start looking this way. I think I'm on something. This way. Battery's dead. Where are we? I knew we should have went the other way. All right, so that is it for this video. Both Annie and I are exhausted, but it's not over yet. We're gonna come back here on another date and hopefully find what we were looking for. But because we didn't find what we're looking for today, doesn't mean that it wasn't a success. We were able to prove there was a camp here and that there is more potential. So let's go back to the house and have a little closer look and see what we found. Okay, so I know this looks like a pile of junk and you, you know what, you're kind of right, but hear me out. Not only does this tell us people were in the area, these square nails, Andy's watch, and a few other relics I found nearby all tell us that it's worth digging deeper. Pun intended. I know relic detecting isn't really my thing, but I'm determined to find something really cool, especially in this location. So if that's something you wanna see too, please let me know in the comments below. That is it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button or follow me on my Instagram or Facebook if you're interested to see anything else behind the scenes. Also, please check out Andy's channel as well. He is my mining partner in this and he has a lot of good content that I'm sure you guys will enjoy as well. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, Black Screen with Logo. But I'm happy to be out here regardless. The beat's sitting at home.